Keeping that in mind, we're doing a full service accounting system we're practicing here. So there's gonna be differences then if I go back on over between the balance as of the end of January. So we're doing as of a point in time, we're looking at our bank statement as of a point in time. That's why we use the bank statements and not just a running balance. We have in our books, the 8881025 on the uh, bank statement, we've got uh, 6124185. So we have to reconcile those two things. It's not unusual to have a different balance on our books than the banks if we have timing differences. It would be unusual if we constructed our books directly from the bank feeds because then all the information on the bank statement should mirror what we use to create our books. But that's not what happens in a full service accounting system. We enter the tra transactions on our books when they happen, not when they clear the bank. And then we match them out to the bank. And that's what we're gonna do here. And that means that where there might be timing differences, those items which we know about that the bank doesn't know about, the most obvious example being outstanding checks. Those have the biggest lag of a timing difference are related to them. As transactions become more automated, that those timing differences should be smaller and smaller, but you could still you know, have them if you're doing a full service accounting uh, system. That's the, that's the general idea.